All right, so you guys can see it right there. Wall Street legend Stanley Drunken Miller, quote, NVIDIA is in nosebleed territory. Like, for real? Did you not see the price action in NVIDIA? Any person with two sets of eyeballs can tell that NVIDIA is in astronomical price levels. Like, here it is right there. So does it really require a legend billionaire to quote say that nvidia is in nosebleed territory duh just look at the chart so why is this article trying to create credibility for this man now for those who don't know who he is i went ahead and googled his name there he is right there that is stanley yeah legendary investor 70 years old Net worth is $6.2 billion. He's telling us that NVIDIA is in nosebleed territory. Thank you, Stanley. You have hit an area that we have never seen or thought about in NVIDIA. We appreciate you helping us out. That $6.2 billion in net worth must really be hitting your pockets if you had to bring this up. What, is he short NVIDIA or something? What do you guys think? Does this man have something against NVIDIA? Is he upset that he didn't get to ride the wave at NVIDIA to these higher prices? Like, why is this? Why is the Molly Fool or the Walls? Why is the Molly Fool trying to bring this man up? They have to stay in the headlines to stay relevant. Understand the name of the game. So they got to pick these billionaires out every once in a while to make sure that they stay relevant. Now, I'm not going to go through the article. I wanted to look at the comments from this Yahoo Finance article that they pulled from the Motley Fool. OK, because apparently it's a video that you guys can watch. But let's go down to these comments. OK, first one, is this guy trying to drive the NVIDIA price down so he can buy more? Very logical question. That's a very good question. Is he trying to sound the alarms to tell you to sell so that he can buy more of it? Or does he really genuinely have a cause and worry that he doesn't want regular people to get hurt? What is his true plan? How is a 4P of 36 nosebleed territory when it's almost guaranteed? NVIDIA's 12 month earnings reported in February 2025 would be around $20 per share. NVIDIA's guidance is for $19.46. It consistently underestimates actual earnings. And it has to turn away orders while making chips as fast as possible. A PE in a year of 45 through 60 is also not nosebleed territory. And that would mean a stock price of 900 to twelve hundred dollars per share by the end of 2025 there may be some catching up by amd intel that slows nvidia's growth but nvidia seems to be pulling ahead by more right now who do you believe who do you trust for your source of information because leave it to the billionaire nvidia is too expensive leave it to this commenter is not too expensive it has more room to run to 900 to 1200 dollars within the next year or so Fifty-eight four pe is a bit rich but not nosebleed something like a thousand pe would be a nosebleed even for a tech company if you bought cisco at 79 dollars per share in 2000 in 2024 24 years later you are still down 20 percent to think that a semiconductor company will never slow or have duplicate orders is nonsense but young people need to learn the hard way so we finally saw and have read someone who actually believes the billionaire now he's talking about cisco we're talking about chips with nvidia quote here's george Love it when they love it when they love to say past performance is not an indication of future behavior until they want to push their opinion and say this guy is a legend. Pass. Believe him for his p 
past predictions. I don't know. Does it make sense? Who do you follow? Who do you trust? This guy probably said the same thing when NVIDIA was 100, then 200, then 300, etc. None of these guys have a crystal ball and like me, which they bought big time a few years ago. Hindsight is 2020. Yeah, you can look back and say, dang, I should have bought NVIDIA. Like I said, did he not ride the wave seeing NVIDIA make all time highs? NVIDIA is still a great buy at its current price. It would be a thousand dollar stock soon. So people should buy now while it's still cheap. We could come back and look at this article to see if that's going to be true or not. Now, automatically, just looking at the chart. Yeah, NVIDIA is massively bullish. We are in uncharted territory. I do give Stanley back credit. But what else did he contribute to that analysis? Like what else did he have to say? In regards to are we at the top is this the apex or are we just getting started with nvidia being in nosebleed territory see that's the thing when you come out with these type of statements you have to put it into the context as to what he's referring to because at some point in time all of these stocks were once considered in nosebleed territory when they make all-time highs like tesla like apple like amazon like chipotle like these stocks are in astronomical price levels, but that's only in the context of price. The market determines what is value. So maybe Nvidia is going to get accustomed to being in this quote nosebleed territory. Because at one point in time, all stocks were considered nosebleed territory. Okay. Somebody even wrote Nancy Pelosi is still buying. So what do you guys think? Because we did a price prediction in video as well, and it exceeded our price prediction. Nine and a half percent there to where it is now around seven hundred thirty eight dollars. That's thirty four, thirty five percent. We're not finished. This market is still drastically bullish. We haven't seen a sentiment change, right? So Stanley is saying that the market is in nosebleed territory, which is accurate. But I'm only saying it's accurate in the context of where it's been. Okay, yes, nosebleed territory is shot up like a rocket. That's not going to be sustained. So what we need to do is wait for a sentiment change occurring to the market in NVIDIA, i.e. we need to see a massive day to where the stock goes down then that would let us know that the sentiment has changed so far we haven't seen it maybe we'll see it here on earnings on the 21st of february maybe we'll see it then so i'm just going to let this market chill i'm just going to let it do what it do and then later on we're going to go ahead and drop another price prediction maybe after earnings to see if we get that induction of a sentiment shift of people actually coming through and taking profit because then that would let us know that we may have hit a top momentarily because like I said, the market has to get accustomed with trading at these higher levels. OK, so what I'm saying is, yes, we're in nosebleed territory. Yes, the market in NVIDIA is going crazy. Right. But you can tell that the market is used to these higher prices, and that they're going to look for higher prices later on. When you see this. The market consolidating at these high levels that tells you that big money financial institutions is grabbing up the shares of nvidia in this range that will let you know that the market is still aiming for higher prices we haven't seen that yet so i want to see the market nvidia start to trade within a range because then we can say yeah we're still looking for the market to go up later on all right so let me just keep it there and we'll see which one is right is it is it the commenters of this article or is stanley right some saying that we got nine hundred dollars to a thousand dollars to go he's saying that we in no sweet territory which means that you suspect price to come down real quick give me your thoughts make sure you maintain the profitability and as always trade different